I think... Mm. You know what? We're going to do this. <laughs> we are going to compare. <laughs> and we are going to anger a lot of people. Where are the strengths and where are the weaknesses? I think that... In my brain... What am I thinking about? I think... In different aspects... Dogs show more cognitive intelligence than cats. I think, uh, I think that cats physically, <sighs> most cats physically, their design is better. <laughs> How do you say that? They're designed to kill. Cats are insanely successful hunters, but does that mean they have high survivability? <laughs> I would say no! Here's the other thing. These are domestic. They're both domestic. So they've evolved... Or not evolved. Well, you know... They uh, have adapted to survive off of humans for the most part. To thrive, I should say. To thrive off of humans. Now I'm thinking of... Okay, now I'm trying to imagine both animals without humans involved. But in the real world, for both of them having humans obviously strengthens their survival but mm, i'm overthinking this i'm going to put them on equal playing fields i'm going to have them equal because in this list in this list i think they're in for this type of list with all these other animals i'm going to have them equal i'm going to put both of them into b for now you know what i'm going to even i'm going to do this i'm going to put cat in c because it stands for... Because C for cat. And I'm going to put dog in B for Beal. There you go. For now. D for dog? <laughs> no. B for bias? B for... You think the dog is in B for bias? Okay. You know what? Let's simplify this. <laughs> dog versus cat. Who wins? <laughs> depends. Depends on the dog, I guess. 